What's up everybody? Here's another episode of Driving with Wiki. In this episode, we are going to talk about why we use WordPress and what we think some of the pros and cons are. Right now, we are in Palm Springs, California, driving to Joshua Tree. We're super excited to check out Joshua Tree. It's a place that I've wanted to see for a really long time. We've really enjoyed our time here in Palm Springs and it's been a little bit since we made a video, so we thought, why not do it while we're driving to one of the most beautiful places in the country? All right, so let's start with some of the positives, the pros of why we like WordPress. Um, the number one, and I think this is probably the biggest one, is it's uh, open source. So basically what that means is you can take the source code of WordPress and use it on any platform you want. So any hosting platform, it's basically yours to do whatever you want. It's not like a Wix Squarespace where it's a closed platform. So by far, that is the number one selling feature on why we like to use WordPress. And because it's open source, you really have the ability to do whatever it is that you want. If there's a certain type of website that you need to build with some of the other closed source platforms, you can't do that necessarily because they have some limitations but with WordPress you can really do anything and if there isn't something that's already available in a plugin form you can create that so that makes it really flexible because it's open source that means that it's going to be very cost effective um, you're not going to be stuck with uh, an expensive monthly fee in most cases or you know large description base that some of these other like closed platforms would offer so it can make it a very cost effective way to run your website. Another pro of WordPress is the WordPress community. There are millions of people that use WordPress. I think it's up to like 45% of the entire internet yeah. has a WordPress website. So that means a lot of people use it. So you have a big community behind you. If you do need help, there's probably someone out there that can help you fix whatever problem you have. So that's another really great benefit to using WordPress to build your website. Yeah, you can Google search problems. Like if you get an error message, you can just literally just put that into Google and 99% of the time somebody will have a solution somewhere. And there's videos like, you know, on YouTube, like what we create that help other people. So yeah, the community is huge. And that's what makes it really powerful is the fact that people are willing to share and help each other where other platforms, you might have to rely on their documentation because it's, you know, their system. So with something like WordPress, you're, you're going to get help no matter what. So those were a lot of the pros that we wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, but we also want to talk about the cons and just like anything else in this world, there's always going to be pros and cons. And the very first thing that I believe is a problem with the WordPress platform is the lack of leadership at the top. And what I mean by that is if you're not familiar, um, WordPress is open source, so you can take the code, do whatever you want, but there is a company that is behind it technically called automatic and it's run by a gentleman, Matt Mullowig. So if you're not familiar with the WordPress platform, he's the one that kind of does all of the PR and big talks at like uh, word camps and conferences to talk about, what the future of WordPress is gonna be. So there is kind of like a face to the company. And as of right now, it's kind of hard to tell what the value of that company is, but it's worth billions and billions of dollars, right? So you would think that, hey, if this company is worth that much money, there would be a little bit more like transparency and a little more like open. Like a roadmap yeah, of like what's roadmap. gonna happen. There really isn't. So that that is a huge con. Um, but like we said, if you think of WordPress a little bit different, it is open source, so you can kind of do what you want with it. So a lot of times you might not need um, the leadership of a company like an automatic to, you know, go forward with WordPress. But that is a problem. Um, it's a huge one, in my opinion, where I wish they were a little more transparent about, you know, what's happening, what's happening and what's company. going to happen. Yeah, it's they, they talk a, a little bit about things, but it seems like a lot of the projects that they have going on kind of get delayed oh, God, and yeah. there there really isn't as much progress as i i think a lot of people thought there would be yeah. I and mean, they've been talking about certain projects for 
a long time and it doesn't seem like they're really getting very far with it no. um which can kind of be a problem because if you're looking to you know invest your time and money into something like wordpress that's something that you you want to know i would think <laughs> Yeah, and that kind of goes into the next point. And like she, she, like she said, the roadmap is not very clear at all. And the problem that I see with the WordPress ecosystem is a lot of it is still volunteer based. So what that means is there's a lot of people who are contributing and helping to, you know, develop WordPress and grow. But a lot of these people are volunteer. And they're not getting paid, not so getting they don't paid. really have a interest of, yeah, in which is why it doing takes a lot forever to do things so this is reasons why projects or you know plugins like uh, elementor are around because there is a demand for it hey we want to be able to build pages easier on the back end without having to wait years and years and years for wordpress to voluntarily like get around to it so yeah i think that if you really want to grow quickly you have to pay people. Yeah. People aren't going to work for free and it's going to be really difficult to get somebody that's willing to do that, especially somebody that's good. Yeah. You know, you might get like a, a person that's just starting out, wants to learn a little bit, but if you really want to take the company to the next level and grow and change you have to pay people yeah, because it, those volunteers eventually are going to get jobs where they're making lots of money yeah and there's a there's actually a lot of stuff going on in the back end like for example the way the plugin repository works is there's only like a handful of people that are approving or declining these plugins and it, it it's almost like a it's almost like a cultish feel where it's just like there's four or five people and they don't let anybody in it's 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 honestly kind of bizarre in my in my opinion the way that they set up the volunteer based part of the business because like we said in the beginning of the video this company is worth like billions of dollars why are they still running it like it's a small little fun startup with like five people in a basement it's not like that anymore so wordpress does have this in my opinion image problem where it doesn't know quite what it is it's like we were a fun startup but we're worth God knows how much money you can't be both so they need to just go one way or the other and, that, and that's that's my opinion where i know that talking with other developers that they have gotten their plugins pulled from the plugin repository and a lot of times that can crumble a business all because of like four people's this you know four people who made a decision this shouldn't be in the repository so yeah there, there are like i said there's a, there are issues with the wordpress platform for sure despite the cons of WordPress, we still think it's the best platform out there to build a small business website. So that's why we continue to use it. No matter what, there's going to be cons to anything that you use. And I think with WordPress, these are things that will eventually get better over time. So we're not too worried about the cons. Um, it is a little bit frustrating at times, but you know, that's just kind of the nature of the business. Yeah, the, the community is so large and willing to help each other that even with some of these issues, it's the people are willing to help you. And that's why they have third party plugins to help with certain things that WordPress does lack in. Yeah, so. and there's so many options out there because of the community and the fact that it's open source. So it's still a great platform to build your website on. So that's it for today's video. We hope that you enjoyed it and maybe learned something new. If you like videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and give this one a thumbs up. And goodbye from Joshua Tree. Bye-bye.